top ten, right? I think UNL's number uh, nine. Yes. yes. Eight or nine. This is one of the more anticipated matchups of the day because UNL doesn't really travel outside their region, and so it's good to see how they stack up against other schools. And we're off. All right, great hey, rush for UNL. Oh, oh. Wow. Isaiah, uh, I think Isaiah Montgomery is called out, out on the rush. rush. All right. Quick out for, for uh, UNL. Well, my brain is so slow right now. UNL has pretty commanding ball control at the moment. The clock. Oh, Ooh, wow. a nice what a big shot hit. By number seven? Yeah, Wyatt. Will Hyatt. Will, Will Hyatt. Oh, uh, what, Coach Wes Peters has talked to me about Will Hyatt several times about how he's a good player. He's going to be a very good up and coming. Will Hyatt, it's one of the rookie of the year uh, candidates here. All right, All right. quick little reset of, throw. A little bit of the old JMU wall ball. Very nice, very nice. Let's see how UNL can counter here. All right. Uh, number three point one four one five five nine six eight three seven nine two. All right. Reset throw. Cincinnati staying aggressive on their attack line. You see now with ball control, UNL no count. All right, a couple quick hits. A couple UNL players heading to the outline now. UNL right. now with four balls coming back up. Nice block there by Will. Another Oops, hit. Good, good hit past the block for one of the UC players on the other side of the court. If you're Cincinnati here, you don't want to get too aggressive. You kind of want to feel the other team out here. Brett Liming, another player. Wow, what a oh, dodge by Will wow. Hyatt and a good, good counter by Double uh, zero, Matt Rosinski coming up into the middle and just All right, blindsiding the players. UNL, oh, oh very wow, nice takes out cross Colby from, uh, Brandon McGinn. Brandon McGinn. Great cross, takes out Colby Chorak, who's arguably UNL's best player. No UNL, UNL on the count now. Colby Chorak, known for his uh, Nationals quote, uh, corner protein last year. A nice catching out from number 15 on UNL. All right, Good what a catch. catch. On a team throw. UNL getting themselves off the count now. A little bit, a little bit of chaos now. Coming All right, on. this is what Cincinnati wants. They want to contain the chaos. And right now, they have complete control of this. Ooh, uh, UNL with one ball. Team throwing again on the, on the catcher. UNL is known for their back line catching, so I'm pretty sure they're comfortable back there, but they don't want to stay there all game. Purple, purple, purple. All right, UC staying aggressive on their attack line here. All right, good team Oh, a throw. team catch. Oh, team. Love between the UC players in the middle, running over each other. All right, I expect a, t I expect a team throw from the right side here. Oh, oh nice, nice cross. cross. You see now, looking looking on the count, on the count two. Oh. Wow, catch. Wow. Great catch by uh, this player in the corner here. I can't oh. see his numbers. Number 54 is just oh. catching UC to pieces at the moment. UC showing a little bit of a break in their usual composure. They are, reset one, throw. they are one player away from a 10 count now. Yeah. A little bit of a lull now. All right, good reset by Will Hyatt. Engelman sending the ball into orbit. Uh, Jason Holman's calling him out, the official here. Good block. Ooh, oh, very good block by number nine. All right, number 54 stepped out of bounds on his on his uh, on his back line. Yeah, so that, that's tough. That. that was the player that was catching all the throws from UC. Ooh. All right, a good team throw gets another player out, number 14, Moseman from uh, UNL. UC now back, kind of in the driver's seat. Putting UNL back on the count with four players. 
Wow. What wow. a catch. And he stayed in. Very well done. Yep. Kept that one point of contact down. We'll have to bear with us today. We don't have a UNL uh, roster, so we don't know all their players, but we're going to do the best we can. They also don't have numbers on the front of their jerseys, which makes it very difficult. Per the NCDA rulebook, you are supposed to have. Oh, oh wow, what very a cross. nice cross. A number nine, Robbie Mitchell. Takes out Trey Summerall. Oh, wow. what a catch. That was a good catch. That's using your head, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Cincinnati's got to place these throws a lot better here. They're wow. getting caught a lot by UNL on their back. You, you see on the 10 count now. All right, so both teams on a 10 count. What that means is once you have five or less players, Ooh. you get on a 10 count. A good attempt by number 28, though. All right, Robbie Mitchell takes another player out. All right, Kevin Skiba takes a... All right, all right. Oh, timeout now right, from the UNL. The official said the ball bounced into his arms. I don't know. I don't know why you're yelling at us. You have to, you have to, you have to get back on the. We're not official. You have to get back on the floor. You're fine. A little bit of controversy right. here on the court Number now. Number 18 arguing his case with the officials here, but not really much you can do if the ref didn't see it. You really can't. Reverse the call at this point. We're working on the old action replay. I'm sure the uh, Twitch comments will let us know. All right, they're uh, they are rolling in a catch now. Woo! Goodness the gracious. Ball up. Okay, so the officials are calling the second ball bounced up. The first one was a catch. Right, UNL with no count here, but they have man advantage on UC, but UC have arguably three of their best arms still in. All right, good reset. UNL has been looking very, oh, no, very comfortable oh on the back gosh. line catching. UC's got to place their throws better and get more coordinated here, or else they're going to drop this point. The fact that they keep throwing at the back line. A double catch. A double, A double catch. catch. Double catch, one for UC and one for UNL. Yeah, catch for UC, catch for UNL. Brings in uh, Isaiah Isaiah Montgomery, one of their captains here. Well placed throw by Matt Rosinski. Oh, another timeout. Time A little bit of controversy on the court. Jason, did a UNL player step out? Yes, sir. Okay. UNL off the count now with six players in. UC with two. Uh, and UNL with three balls. Both teams count should be the same. They're both on 10 o'clock. No, they're on 15. Oh, you, you, are, you are correct. Oh, and put that ball away in the cubby. Very nicely done. All right, we're calling a UC balls over. Oh my. UNL now has full control of this point. We weren't really sure how they performed today because they don't really travel outside their region much. We'll see but how they're in UC complete does. control in the driver's seat. Now. On their back line catching with this. I'm sure that they'll team throw this and we'll see who they have in. Never mind, I don't know any of their numbers or names or faces. So. Their, ca their captain, Colby Chorak, is probably going to be one of the throwers here. Let me see. All right, on uh, Colby Chorak's call here. Oh. All right, all throws miss the mark here. Good dodge but by Matt All balls come back to uh, UNL, so they can just reload now and fire again. Oh. Isaiah Montgomery avoiding all the throws again. You see, not getting very lucky with these rebounds, though. The official is calling oh. Matt Rosinski out here. And that is the point for UNL. First point of the day goes to UNL. Well, for this match. Cornhuskers one, Bearcats zero. UNL showing that they came to play today. 
This, is a team, this team looks very, very comfortable hanging out on the back line and just catching. I think they made, what, seven catches at that point against UC? And that's where their strength is. They're very comfortable on their back line and they're, they don't, they're not afraid to play there. UC's gonna look to reload here. One of the keys is gonna be winning the rush. UNL had ball control from the start of, of the last point, and so UC has to have a better rush here in order to get ball control and get something going here. UC had ball control. They were dead. they had no clock at the start of that, or like at the beginning of that point when uh, UC they had ball, they threw ball control away, but they had a oh, better yeah. rush. They threw their players away too. Yes, that's right. What UC needs to do here is just coordinate their throws and know who's throwing at all times and try to have better placement. A lot better placement. They place a lot of throws like chest or knees are higher. Oh, no one firing on a, on a player on the ground. Brett Lining with a casual block. Look from a throw to come from the left side this here. Is a, this is a familiar scene. Oh, no. That's a big hit. Captain Brett Lining. Brett Lining. Dropping a catch. Start. Although, he is at the front of the line, so if he yeah. makes a couple catches, it'll be very easy for them to bring him back in. Yep. All right, big hit. Ooh, that was very, very good. UNL has gotten rather uh, lucky, or rather fortunate, I should say, with how their balls have bounced off their players. There have been a couple where they just... Ooh, wow, wow, what a tag! What a nice throw from Brandon. Robbie Mitchell cross not looking. Cross court shot, catches number nine, sleeping. Ooh, great nice cross. look from number 31. And you see, doesn't come to any fruition, but it was a good look. If I'm UC here, I want to be able to play in our neutral zone and move back. It forces you and Al to come up and get them out of their comfort zone. Yeah, it, Great it team is, throw. It is very imperative that they start drawing UNL off the back line. This team is just chilling, looking for those catches. Uh, UNL, three balls. This is a good opportunity now. Ooh. Kobe Torak tried for a headshot there, just missed the mark. UC players are not paying much attention when they move backwards. Although that partially could be trusting their teammates to block them. Ooh, all right. What a tag. Another team throw. Finally wow. comes to fruition, and they knock number 54 out in the corner. 54 and Captain Trey Summerall. UC seems to be waking up a little bit with their ball placement. Ooh, a good cross. A good block by Isaiah. Ooh. Wow, what a hit. Chest stamp from uh, Ryan Engelman. Ryan Engelman. He's, he, he was mo mostly known for his catching in his rookie year, but he's really come to his own as a thrower here and a big arm for UC. Well, cross very very long cross-court shot. There's a souvenir for a lucky fan. Ooh. Almost stepped out wow, of bounds. Managed there. to stay in. Oh, an unfortunate hit for UNL. Sends a player to the outline. UNL now on the count, on the 10 count. The only problem with pay, playing on your back line is you need to be aware of where that back line is and if you step out when you try to dodge. You see now in a familiar uh, familiar position, team throwing the back line of UNL. UNL still has a lot of catches in. Recall that this is exactly where they were last point. They seem, to be, team throw. They seem to be uh, a little bit more on it, but that is, that is not to say that they can't. Ooh, Kevin Skiba drops a catch at his feet. The main difference from last point to this point is the ball placement for Cincinnati. Absolutely. Right you are, Ken. All right, great tag. The official over here is calling him out. All right, and that was a hit. UNL players looking fairly confused as to if they get hit by the ball. All right, quick cross. All right, they do have a ball count because they have three on their side. All right, you another see. good team throw. Oh, now ball's right, over. It is ball's UNL. over. They're arguing that he was hit. Wes Peters now yelling at another player. Seeming to be a lot of controversy over this.
Ball's over. As we all know in this league, it's not a timeout. However, now it looks like it's going to become an official's timeout because of arguing. Classic NCAA. If you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome to the War 6 in Akron. We'll pause for a quick uh, identification break. I'm Dr. Peter Bro here with uh, not Dr. Colby Bryceland, but good fellow nonetheless. I have a doctor in Thugonomics, is what they Thugonomics. The current score is 1-0 uh, UNL, uh, but it looks to, the Bearcats look to be looking to tie it up. All right. I expect a team throw throws. on uh, our close side here first. All right, just misses the mark, great dodge. Oh, he got hit in the back. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, Everyone's it's, so angry. It's easy to not feel those when you're in the heat of the moment, so I don't, I don't fault him for that. No, right. I think it, it, it more or less just skimmed the top of his head. Correct. And if he had not maybe had that tuft of hair Kyle licked up in the back, he yeah. probably would have stayed in. So. All right, uh, Matt Rosinski blocks an easy catch there. Ooh, wow. a good cross Great from number cross. 31. Just, just barely misses. All right, you see reloading a team throw again here. Oh, wow, wow, what a great hit. Chris Pitt. What a point for number 31. Easily has been, has been sneakily getting players out on his side Tyler here Tyler Shaver has been looking for crosses and throwing some very nice straight up throws. All right, so now we're all tied up 1-1. Cincinnati seems to be in the driver's seat here. They've, they, they've, they've tightened up their, their throwing and it's, it's really come to fruition for them. You know, coming into this game, they just won the Ohio Dodgeball Cup. They're, they're number one in the league, you know, in, in our standings. And so they want to stay there uh, heading into Nationals next month. All right, officials time is uh, tw 12 minutes and 37 seconds left in the half. So here in the uh, NCDA, we play two 25 minute halves. Go. Line it up for point number three. Great point for UC. This pitch is going to take out. Uh, that's commentary from Coach Wes Peters about UNL's players. Um, Wes, as is known in the league, is a, is a very controversial personality. However, we love him. Somebody has Get to. out of here. Big hit up. Two big hits off the rush. Takes out Colby Chorak, UNL's captain. That's a big hit, but he is number one in the outline right now, and as we know, UNL can catch. Oh wow! And, nice and, and there catch. it is. There it is. A catch it out. Trey Summer brings in Colby Turak. And Matt Brzezinski is now in the outline. Cincinnati now brings in uh, player Jacob Weber. He set out the first two points. Oh, and easy, solo catch. easy catch. Oh, that was on Engelman. Yikes. All right, well-placed reset by Jacob Weber. All right, you're now coming up for, for one of the first times in this point here. Oh, and a catch. What a catch. Will Hyatt. Bounce, bounce off, off his, his chest. chest. The ref's calling it a catch. Brings back in. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, a nice hit Almost on the had it, dropped it. Good block. Great coverage by Robbie Mitchell. Oh, they wow. Throw a catch Robbie Mitchell directly to catch. one of the backline players for UNL. Brings back in <laughs> Trey Summerall. <laughs> That man is running laps to the outline and back. But he has a team that catches him in, and so like you can play it. When you have catches like that, you can play a little bit more reckless as a team, because you can expect that your team will bring you back into the game. Wow. That was a good block. It was a great block. Well-placed throw by Brandon McGinn. I'm assuming Brett Lyman is going to get some throws in here. Probably not. He's not known as an arm for UC. 
last call right. shot from UNL. UNL has one more ball to lose before they have no, no count. Oh, a nice team throw from uh, well UC. Team throw. Takes out number 11, Wyatt Sewell. Great block. UC back up on the throw line. Let's see a heat map of how, how much time UC has spent. Oh, I, would say, I, would, I would say 95% of the game has been on UC's throw line here. Ball in the middle, but they want to fight for it, pushing UC back. Great block by Tyler Schaefer, and a good throw. Nice throw. If, if he can grab the ball, then it's supposed to go to the side. If the ball, if the ball, if the ball is coming back, it, yeah. Done, done, yeah. Jacob Weber just being a really good sport after getting yelled at by an angry man. Yeah. Great block by Jacob Weber. Are you see slowing the pace down a little bit? Nine minutes remaining. Ooh, oh, a what nice a shot from Brandon McGinn. Brandon McGinn, one of the most accurate throwers we have here in the NCAA. Uh, UNL with no count, but one of their balls is chilling in the mid-ground, which is unfortunate. I think that's Colby that has the ball though. Ooh, right, great team throw in the corner here. Unfortunate reach for number 24. Tyler Schaefer and Brandon McGinn get another out on that team throw. UNL now with three balls, and they just, oh. 31, All right, two quick hits here for UC. Okay, taking, advantage, taking advantage of uh, a little bit of break and play. Against two. Miami's up 1-0. Okay. So an update from the other court. Uh, OSU and Miami is tied 1-1. UNL sitting on the, uh, ooh, a nice cross court thought from number 31. Ooh, All right, Colby Chorak gets a good hit Colby Chorak to get one of the UC Picks players out. Picks Eli Campbell. All right, again, no count for UNL. They only have two balls. They have three, they just, now they have oh, two. Okay, now they have, okay. So no count. You Trace see now, gets back up to the throw line. Well placed throw by Brett Lyman. UC firing a couple balls, nothing comes of it. UC needs to move all the way back to their baseline and give UNL uh, the opportunity to move up because that'll tire UNL out. They're not using much, you know, they're not getting much exhausted because they're staying on their back line. It's also allowing them to stay on the back line place to UNL's like insane strength of catching. Oh, a hit right, out great hit. Rack. Number Ooh, 22, Brett Lyman. Brandon McGinn. Almost takes off the head of a UNL player. UNL with three balls in the midcourt. So the goal now for UC is to stay on their attack line because they, because UNL still has a count, but they cannot get possession of any of their balls because they're up on UC's throw line. So UC now wants to stay up on their throw line. And it, is a, and it will a be a balls over call for UNL. UC heads back to their baseline only to come right back up to their throw. <laughs> I expect Brandon McGinn to be a part of a team throw here, and probably Tyler Schaefer on the uh, on our side here. As you know, on the is, right is, side, is, is probably very, Will Hyatt. UC is very well known in the league for being a very undisciplined team, so they will probably just solo throw several balls right here. Um, I highly doubt they'll, they'll garner themselves a single out. If, uh, if any of you haven't caught on by now, uh, Peter Bro is, has a bit of sarcasm here. In his My commentary. doctorate is in sarcasm. Um, Anyways, you see coming up to the attack line. Oh, some pump fakes on the team throws. A good, right. good team throw, three balls. Oh, oh what a great cross. Number Almost 31 has been crossing the court all day. And I think I've seen him connect on one or two, but his his brain is in the right place. UNL just not looking for the crosses. All right, nice reset by Cincinnati. Ooh, Brandon a McGinn very with good another tag by Brandon again. Oh, and it just hits the hair on number 15. And, and he got caught reaching. A reaching Tyler Schaefer. 
has slowly become an integral part of this UC roster. Having to concern yourself with several different angles on the court it just makes it so much harder to like play against a team that you know can throw hard, but you know you don't have to just worry about the player in front of you. Now you have to worry about every player that has a ball in the front line. Uh, roughly six minutes left in this half here. You see up two to one on the Cornhuskers. Let's see how UNL uh, comes back from this. And, and uh, UC taking a lot of time in their huddle, which is pretty obnoxious when you want to play. Obviously. What UNL doesn't want to do is drop another point here and go down three to one and a half. That's a huge deficit to come back from. Hopefully, they can get the point and Tied or two two heading into the and or uh, stall this one out to only go into the half down one point. At the very least, survive. We'll see. Number 18 getting a little chippy with the ref. Alex Johnson not happy with uh, UC being a little bit quick on the draw here. Wow, nobody getting out on the rush. Shots here, back and forth. UC on their usual spot on the front line. UNL on the back line looking to catch. Every player on this team just is poised looking to catch. Another great team for by Tyler Schaefer and Brandon again. These two are a well-oiled machine over here on the left, left side. Wow, wow, well very nice throw. shot from Brett. All right, nice dodge by Colby Chorak. UNL is, is going to have to uh, get some ball control going here if they want to. Ooh, and Ryan Engelman. Drop, catch, wow. And Brett fires back and knocks down number 23. Ryan Engelman looking for the catch, just couldn't secure it here. Brett Fleming, Liming. Take another nice shot. block by Colby Chorak. Ooh. And a hit. Oh, no. It's the okay. butt of number 31. Tyler Schaefer hasn't been in the outline much in this game. But he is now. Are uh, UNL getting a little more aggressive here? I think they want to take this point. They have plenty of time to do so. Oh. Looks like he just bounced up into him. UNL getting a little too close on their clock. Oh, Ryan 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 a great catch. Colby Chorak takes him to the outline. Brings back in Ryan Engelman, captain for UC. So he can drop another catch, right? <laughs> Ooh, a nice cross by Brandon McGinn. Ooh, a very yeah, nice cross by number 30 at UNL. Takes, takes out, out number Brett. nine, Robbie oh. Mitchell. I thought I had Brett, wow. Robbie Mitchell, my, my apologies. Jacob Weber trying to do the ref's job. Seemed like a hit to me, but it could have bounced up into him. Nice reset throw. UC finds himself again with ball control. UNL, not a single ball on their back line. All right, there's going to be a team throw on this uh, left side, looks like. No. Just misses the mark. Hits. I would love to see an average of like how many balls each team has like on average had throughout the entire match. UC has had ball control pretty much. UC the has got to have had at least seven like at this point. Nice cross, very good idea from uh, one of the UNL players. Great awareness from Will Hyatt there to look for that cross. All right, team throw on this side here. Oh, takes out number 18, Wyatt Johnson. Takes out one of the UNL players and puts UNL on the 10 count. Two minutes left, two and a half minutes left remaining. If I'm UC here, I'm putting my foot on the gas and trying to take this point. 
two and a half. All right, another out takes out 54. Oh, no hit. All right, no hit. Very well placed throw. You won't see Brandon McGinn get caught very often. Oh, a nice catch by Pouts. Ryan Engelman. Another oh, catch. Oh, a nice catch from the UNL back line. All right. Two minutes remaining. All right, great block by Brent Liming. Solo throw on the back line of UNL is a very bold strategy, Cotton. Especially what they've seen that every single player can catch on their baseline. All right. Now Tyler Shaven. Oh, oh great kick team throw. Oh, a wow, nice a hit. hit on the attempted transition. No, it went out over here. It went out over here. It bounced this way. All right. Oh, Brett Lyman with nice the catch. catch from Brett All right. Oh, a timeout called by UNL. All right, UNL has two balls, no ball count. One and a half minutes remaining. One and a half. Oh, I don't yell. Safe to say that uh, UC is gonna gonna put multiple balls on this guy and try to take this point. No. UNL trying to pep talk their one surviving player. Just, just do it, buddy. You got it. Simply do not get hit by the balls. If I'm UNL right now, I do not want to get hit by any of these balls that are coming my way. Uh, however, UC has eight, which is going to be no small feat. However, this player looks calm. I'm assuming Tyler Schaefer, Brett Liming, and probably Matt Rosinski, and maybe also Brandon McGinn will be on this team. Forever. They might as well just throw all eight of them. They can probably get five of them back from the wall. All right, Ditches so his ball. Quick reset. Oh, Jacob's just going to duel this poor man. The, I think the, the plan there was to try to get UC on a, or uh, UNL on a count. You can't throw that hard with a wall behind him, though. Oh, All right, takes him out. Mate hits the mark. It is now 3-1 to one, UC over UNL, and that's going to take us into the half with about a minute left. And that's halftime, folks. After a very shaky first point, UC now coming out just looking to be firing on many of their cylinders. I wouldn't say all. But I would, I would not say, say all. I would say like if they have like 10 cylinders, they're firing on like nine of them. Nine right of now. them, yeah. Good percentage of cylinders. You know, 90%, that's an A. That's that's enough to get a doctorate. Ask me how I know. <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> I don't. I'm an idiot. Let me see. Can we get a, a statement from uh, Captain Ryan Engelman? Going into half, what are you guys thinking uh, as far yeah, as the first get, half? Let's get, on, let's get you on stream. Um, this is a team that you don't really want to be still against. A lot of, they're a very athletic team. They're kind of like JMU. Uh, a lot of strong arms. Colby Chorak is an immense player. What uh, do you think about their backline catching? Unreal. It's like JMU 2.0. So they're, on, what, they're on the come up. What are you guys doing to uh, combat that in the second half? Better team throws. We are throwing so many solo throws. That is, we're, we're throwing a lot of bad, bad placement throws. I agree. The difference between the first point and the second two points was ball placement and better well-timed team throws. Holy God, the way you're Another right. standout player for UC has been Tyler Schaefer on his crosses. Yeah. Uh, what's, go, what's, has, what's gone into his development here over the over the season? He's, oh, he's, he's getting puppy. called. Go. Go to your All team. Right. He's been uh, called oh away for his God. team. You know what? That's not my job. <laughs> so... <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. So basically what we've been saying all, all day, uh, UC's adjustments have just been better better team throws and better place throws. They're not getting lazy with their solo throws, which has been the major difference in the second two points. It took them one point, but they seem, to be, they seem to be awake now. Yeah. I think that this is it's currently 3-1. I think that I think that I think that UNL has the potential here to run a couple a couple points up on, on UC if they manage to get this ball control and go to UC into some long cross court throws. I I'm not sure to be honest with you. We're working here. One of the potential dangers of these very nice cross throws that we've been seeing from UC is that they are long throws. And against a team like UNL, if they are paying attention even remotely, they will look for that catch. Here we go. And we start the second half. 
Alright. Alright, UNL, UNL pretty, five, pretty good rush six for UNL. Balls, two, four, six. UNL is ball control. We're gonna see them on the throw line. Hopefully a little bit more this this uh this half. Alright, Tinko All right. just misses the mark there. And just like that, UC has ball control. Uh, five and five at this point, I believe. UNL. I don't know if they're top. Ooh. All right, great hit. Good mid court. Brett Liming takes out Mundy, number 24. Very nice mid court kill. Another, another mid court takes kill. Out 54. That was Brandon again. A standout player that UC's missing today is Corey Heitman, but it looks it looks like they're doing just fine without him today. More like Corey Hype, man. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Corey's one of the standout players in the league here. All right. Oh. Colby Trillard just misses the catch here. I'm going to try to move here and try to get in some of the action because I, uh, I don't have a good view here. UNL back on their back line again. Oh, and a very a quick shout out to uh, out OSU out alum Sam Palumbo for setting up this stream. We can't we can't shot. do this job, you know, without somebody behind the Brett scenes Lyman here. And uh, Sam Palumbo is one of the unsung heroes here for the NCDA. Wants to fire. Oh, and a very nice hit from Brett Liming on number 14. Hits him right in the foot. Another UNL player going down in the back line, just not paying attention. Oh, I'm not I'm talking into the stream. I'm not talking, I'm talking to you. All right. Uh, great block by Ryan Engelman here. You are right. now now on the back line looking to catch again. All right. Well, well placed team throw. Great dodge by Trey Summer. All right. You are now one player away from a 10 count already. Again, the key here is ball control, and UNL lets it go so quickly. Oh, a nice catch on the back line. Oh, another, another nice, nice catch, catch from Trey Small. Brings two players. Oh, and a good hit in the mid court. Takes out number 31. All right, UNL reloading here. Great punt fake by Trey Small. A right, good block by Ryan Engelman here. You see again up on the throw line. Wow. Trace them all gets caught looking, dropping a catch. Front Fowler with a good reset. Again. All right. Potentially stepping over. But... UC's doing a much better job here, moving into the neutral zone and back to their baseline. That's what they want to do. However, UNL with five balls, looking, looking to make something happen with it. Ooh, nice stop. And a block. Good reset throw from uh, one of the UNL players. Players Will Hyatt draws off. two throws, gets one of them back. Ryan Engelman desperately looking for a catch here. Good reset by Matt Rosinski. The old JMU strat. Brett Lyman with a low well placed throw just misses the mark here. Team right, cat, team cat, nice team UC. Cats. Off of the arm of Ryan Engelman, Brett Lyman back in the right spot to make to secure the catch. Brett Lyman or Ryan Engelman going bowling with that throw. All right, UC's cow will continue. Brett Lyman resets the clock. Whoa! Great hey. block by Will Hyatt. Getting a little bit. Wow. Off, Will, off Will, the bleacher, that ball came back. Will Hyatt, another standout rookie for Cincinnati. All right, and that ball's coming back. It's, it's, it's ball. A little bit of argument here on the sidelines. Brett Lyman would rather uh, argue with the ref than... Ooh, well nice placed hit. throw by Will Hyatt. Hey, you gotta, like, try to come in, like, Two, four, five. Now five players on the uh, UNL back line. They're now in a I'm, 10 count. They don't have a count at the moment, but they will in here in a moment. 
All right, UNL on a 10 uh, count you see now, now because they have less than five players are below. Draw the players from UNL up off the back line where they are so comfortable. Oh! Wow, what a hit. Oh. I have no idea what just happened in that corner. The officials called it a team catch. I kind of disagree with the call. Colby Cholak, whipping a ball. Number 54 with another catch on his baseline takes out Captain Ryan Engelman. Ryan Engelman heading to the outline again. Two, four, six. That that catch, I believe, puts UNL off the 10 count. No, I'm mistaken. Oh, very good stop from uh, one of the UNL players off the back line. UC doing a good job drawing UNL off their back line, but very slow to capitalize on these transition kills. UNL with two, four, five balls. Nope. I lied. Three balls. Oh, you got to pull the trigger on that, Mr. Hyatt, my boy. That throw from you know doesn't count because it didn't reach past Cincinnati's attack line, which means they couldn't make a play on the ball. That ball does count. Cincinnati seems to be very comfortable just like throwing solo throws at their back line, which I don't quite understand. But they might. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with it, but they're up three to one, so who might argue? Oh, another hit takes out number 30. Yep, Cincinnati gonna set up a team throw here. Both balls miss. Number 54 on uh, UNL has caught several team throws before, so they have to be very careful placing throws on him. I would save him as one of the last. Oh my wow. God! What a hit! His oh, Marzinski right gets just stamped. If that man were a putty, he would be in pieces right now. That's a Power Rangers reference for those of you who are uh, <laughs> too young to remember. Nice cross court shot from. Uh, I don't, I don't know. One of the players from UNL. Four players on UNL left with three balls. UC looking to counter. Brett Liming firing. Oh, takes out number 54. That's a huge out. That He's one of their better Very catchers. good throw from Brett to take out number 54. Again with the solo throws though. I don't mind a solo throw as much when he's on, like when he's backing up. But see now, like Colby Shorak is on the back line looking for that catch. Brett wow! Brett Liming's feet have me worried. Yeah. One of his main issues has been uh, getting his feet out, out of the way of himself. Oh, I mean, but... like standing over the throw line. It's it's looked very close. Ooh, reaching for a catch right. between his legs. Number 24 can't quite And now we're down play. to two for you and Al. Colby Chorak. All right. If I'm UC here, I'm backing up and making them move up. Colby Chorak, though, has a good arm. Can reset the clock from the back line. Brett Liming looking for that toe. Great team throw, Jacob Weber and Brandon again. The second throw hits him in the chest. Colby Chorak, the last remaining player for UNL, and now UC is backing up, trying to draw him off the back line. All right, UNL is no count. Uh, they, have, they have three. Oh, have three? No, 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 they only have two. All team surviving. throws missed the mark here. Wow. I think they just threw like six balls at him. Oh, and, and a catch from Jacob and the Weber. Point, Jacob Weber. Four to one, Cincinnati over UNL. 
Very nice catch off his chest by Jacob Weber on that long reset throw. UC did a very good job in, towards the end of that point backing up and creating a lot of space, making these UNL players come up off the line or make the choice to reset the, the clock from a very long throw. And as you saw just then with Jacob Weber, those long throws, they lose a lot of steam as they travel past half court. Jacob Weber very easily able to catch that ball rebounding off his chest. Mr. Stumpo? There's a long day of dodgeball here. I expect, expect both teams to kind of conserve their throws and uh, keep their arms, uh, you know, firing all cylinders here. 16 minutes remaining. You definitely don't want to tie yourself out in the first point. And for UNL, four to one's a big deficit. UC looking to sub. Captain Brett Liming on the sideline. Isaiah Montgomery on the sideline. Oh, no, I lied. Brett's in. He was just getting a drink of water. He was a thirsty boy. He's doing a lot of work out there, though. Oh, fan favorite Sterling Gauss is in. Oh, and, and, and immediately gets knocked out. No? Okay. Couple hits off the rush here. And even uh, even exchange here. The law of equivalent exchange, as we all know from Alchemy. Oh, oh that wow. lining catches Autumn, Trace Autumn now. Sleeping. Just sleeping. Oh Brett my goodness. Hemming. <laughs> as, we, as we saw from uh, the Hemming. Ohio Dodgeball Cup, <laughs> Brett Liming is him. Good Lord, and he, he hit him hard too. The Slim Reaper as he's been named. <laughs> oh, what a dodge. What a, what a, okay, it was a hit, it was a hit. We'll take a block to me, but he, uh, a very honest player there taking his out. Right, getting a little too enthusiastic, though. Yeah. Feeling himself too much. <laughs> I see what you did there, Cotton. Oof. Oof. You see just going bonkers out here in the middle court. My man's number 31 ran from one end of the court to the diagonal corner. UNL throws a great catch. catch on the baseline. Showing shades of UNL there with a back line catch. I did not see that coming. Good UNL block. here seems to have a second win. What a hit. Yeah, what's his name? And a team Matt, catch. Matt Rosinski just running up and throwing by himself in the middle ground. Not the smartest move, but you know, they're... Good coverage from the cross-court shot from UNL. Halts the UC players. Saves Colby Chorak. Oh, reaching. Timeout called by UNL. A lot, a lot of chippy arguing and oh, but some good sportsmanship from uh, number seven and eighteen here in the middle. Slap hands. Slap hands. Hug. The UNL players are very disgruntled. They seem to they they think that uh, UC is not taking their outs. Coach West Peters is going to get involved now. Uh, of course. Some of these outs where they hit you in the toe, it's always not it's not always clear if it hit like ground simultaneously or or your toe first or the ground first. Correct. A lot of these close calls you just have to leave to the ref and UNL seems to disagree with what the uh, UC players are doing. All right, and we're uh, resetting here. We have uh, roughly 14 minutes left in this half. You see heading up to the throw line yet again, they have eight, eight of the 10 balls. Team throw right, takes out number 18. Throw. Nice dodge by Colby Chorak. Oh, a good hit from one of the UNL players on the back line, takes out number 12. Through his block, too. Well-placed throw. 
<laughs> My man came prepared. The voice of college, Josh Tony Stumpo coming in with the goods. The, uh, the hall. The, the, the cough drops here. UC sitting on the attack line again. Six six balls, I believe. So if you've noticed. Oh, Colby Chorak gets hit by a fairly lackadaisical throw. If but you've even noticed more lackadaisical here, dodge. a lot of the players are stepping one foot out of bounds. In the NCDA here, you can have one point of contact and still be in bounds. So whether it's your foot, your finger, whatever the case is, you can have one point of contact and still be legal in this game. UNL coming up off their back line, but placed right back onto it by UC. UC has a very strong offensive presence. Oh, throws a back line catch in the 31. Tyler Schaefer wants that one back. Okay, right. UNL now with a little bit of momentum, a little bit of motion. They've got ball control. They can finally come up past midcourt. Oh, well well placed sleeping. cross. Oh. And another hit, Will Hyatt gets hit himself. Trey Summerall trying, trying to, to get a ball. ball. Just gets hit in the and foot. And just like that, the momentum that UNL had is just taken right away from them. Down to the 10 count. They do still have ball control. Oh, but UC, UC also on the 10 count. Four players remaining for UC. With UNL having such steep ball control, they can maybe do something and take this point. UNL backing up, drawing them off their back line. Good block by Sterling Gauss. UNL coming up off their back line. Oh! oh! A very risky hit from number 24 pays off as number 16 cannot secure the catch. That hit him square in the chest. Brandon again taking a, a low, slow throw to reset the clock. Jacob Weber on the attack. Four one, yeah. Oh, Great Sterling Gauss to the nice Gauss catch on number twenty-eight. Brings back in Robbie Mitchell, a standout rookie here for Number Cincinnati. twenty-eight dropping his ball on the front line though, and letting the other team get it, which is never a good thing to do. Well placed throw, Brandon McGinn. Oh, a good hit. Oh wow. Got a little oh, too cocky there. Catch. He was already out of, bounds, out of bounds, but then he yeah. also got hit. Kind of solidifies the out there. Two players left for UNL versus the three Just when we of thought UC. UNL was in the driver's seat, Cincinnati's back in it here. You see backing up to their back line, drawing the UNL players up. Oh, a catch! A catch Takes out Jacob Weber. It's one to one. Two, two UNL players for one Cincinnati. Cincinnati, UNL wants this point. UC coming up to the front line, throwing All right, well placed throw, doesn't want to catch there. Resets the clock. I mean, he is against number 54 from UNL who has shown all day that he can catch. Oh, oh and UNL takes... There. UNL right, so taking a couple, very uh, good couple advantage of players the for chaos Cincinnati. while they were all running around just trying to hit each other. The chaos they tried to create in the middle did not work out well for them as they quickly found themselves down four to four and against a team like UNL who can very easily catch backline catch solo throws. UC is going to try to regroup here. The, the, game, the game isn't out of their hands just yet. They still have a two point advantage. Uh, nine and a half minutes left. Plenty of ball left to play though. UNL can make, can make, a, can make a lot of noise here with a comeback. Oh, I would actually sincerely love to see this game to go to OT. I would love. This would be an electric OT game. I would love to see UNL's top six versus UC's top six. That would be very, very exciting. UNL burst onto the scene last year at Nationals. Hosted by Western Michigan University. All right, a couple, uh, a couple quick outs here. Chase them all heading to the outline. Ryan Engelman heading to the outline. 
The players seem to be getting kind of sleepy and a little bit lazy in this in these last uh, couple of minutes. Just not paying attention to these throws. Cincinnati needs to keep their composure here. Not let this game get away from them. Kind of wish, kind of wish they would though. OT would be sick. OT would be sick. Oh, another player not paying attention in the corner. Gets hit by a cross-court shot from Tyler Schaefer again. Matt Rosinski. Drops his ball. Oh, a mid-court catch. catch from Skiba to, or thrown by Skiba to Kobe Chorak. Kobe Chorak making it look pretty easy, honestly. UNL now on the in front line. Team throwing. Three balls getting away from them, though. UNL has had a very hard time with ball control, and throws like that where they throw two and then one, kind of trailing on the end of it. And they only have, like, six. It's not being very disciplined with their balls here. Nice stop by Cincinnati here on their back line. Now, see, the advantage of UNL staying in the midcourt means that you see when they throw a ball, it's more or less gone. Like, the odds of them getting Correct. back is much, much smaller. Great baseline catch by Jacob Weber. Oh, I missed that. Oh, he caught Kobe out. Wow. Yep. Very nicely done by Jacob. Colby out here uh, with a good showing uh, representing Colby's around the world. We do love a good Colby. Great block by Trey Summerall here. Good cross court shot, doesn't come to fruition. UNL now finally on the attack. Cross court oh, shot, wow. nearly kills the cameraman. UNL making good use of the, the close wall. Oh, all right, baseline catch by Will Hyatt. But a poor team throw leads to a good baseline catch. Again, one of the main keys to Cincinnati hasn't been their, their, their uh, more known players. It's mostly been their rookies who have been stepping up in the second half of the season. I mean, but also Brett. Also Brett. But also Brett. All right, with a great block kill. by Will Hyatt. Oh, a nice hit by number 54. Takes out a player that solo through by himself. Tyler Schaefer finding himself in no man's land by himself. I'm sorry? Uh, up the creek without the paddle, they might say. Or in the in, in no man or in the neutral zone without a ball, as we say. Another base. Oh, a nice hit pass and in a the catch middle by ground. UNL. Brings back in. Not Colby. Never mind. Oh, a good counter throw. Takes out number seven, Will Hyatt. UNL showing some life here. Oh, a good right. hit by Matt nice Rosinski. Takes Rizinski. out one of the throwing uh, UNL players. Matt Rizinski getting a little bit of momentum now. I assume he was going for the catch there because he jumped in front of his blocker. He said, no thanks, I got this. When in fact he did not. Narrator, he did not have this. Jacob Weber on the attack, solo throwing. Brett Liming with the third catch here. Ooh, All right, a good hit, great takes hit out number 54. Vincent. Called out by the other side ref. He thought the other player had blocked the ball. Ooh. All right, another half by nice Matt Rosinski. Ooh. Nice cross a by Ryan A good cross Engelman. by Ryan Engelman. Doesn't find its mark, but a good idea. You, uh, you see two, four, six, seven players. Two, four, six, seven players. Seven to seven at the moment. UNL has five and five for ball control. Oop. A good hit by Brett Liming. Oop. Trace them all goes a little crazy. Gets the man in the middle ground, but then gets knocked out himself. Oh my goodness. Uh, get him off the court. In college dodgeball, you're supposed to get off the court expeditedly as you uh, get hit. As but not these, to interrupt play. These players are not moving very quickly off the court. That throw shouldn't have counted. All right, both teams on a 10 count here now. Great hit by Brett Liming. Well-placed throw. Brett's 
Brett's overhand throw just literally sinks to your toes. It's an amazing throw. Oh, Jacob I, Weber with a lefty a cupcake throw. UNL Caught player, player lacking. UNL caught reaching. Brett going for the kill. UNL down to three players now. Nice cross there. Just misses man, the mark. Man count is five to three in favor of UC. Timeout called by UNL. A lot of action popping here in these last couple minutes. Three and a half minutes remaining in the, in the game. <laughs> Call me shot. We're arguing again. No, I believe they just uh, had to take a timeout. Uh, Jacob Weber, a, a little bit under the weather here, it seems. Under the Weber. Hopefully he can have a decent comeback and uh, you know, i.e. Oh, of, of the of the Michael Jordan flu game. Thing. Oh my god. We've had a lot of uh, great athletes in history have uh, good flu games. Tiger Woods you know, had, that's uh, had, a, had a great that's match. That's out on the field. Not many, not many people can say. Michael bar. Jordan in the flu game. Why would you be nervous? Why Tiger Woods on the nervous? PGA Tour battling through sickness. I lost my dice, that's fair though. I lost everything and I ripped it. Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> Waiting for play to resume here, the last three and a half minutes. Uh, if you're just joining us, it is currently four to two in favor of UC. UNL has called a timeout, um, or, or a timeout was called by the official, so Jacob Weber could go um, barf. Exercise his demons, as they may say. Exercise his stomach, clenching it. Kids these days, you know what I'm saying, folks. All right, so uh, UWP, uh, our Penn State took the game seven to one over UWP. Um, let's see if we can get some other updates. One? Seven to one. Golly gee, I was wrong on that over under. I was as well. All right, play is resumed. We've got four players in from UC. Three and a half minutes remaining. Good reset throw by number 30. Matt Rosinski with a reset of his own. Oh, a good wow, catch, a catch by number 30. In the middle ground. Brings in Colby Chorak, who immediately tries to take the hands off of Ryan Engelman. Ooh, a good block by Matt Rosinski to stay alive. Team throw from UNL. I still can't. I still can't get over Slim Reaper. Honestly, that that's hilarious. UNL coming up in the front line. Cincinnati is still up four to one in this match. No, four to two. Four to two. I, I apologize. A ball's over call would be huge here for UNL if they could exercise. The, if they could work the court to their advantage. Oh, go, looking for a catch. About two minutes remaining. Colby Chorak choosing to leave a ball in the middle. Oh, oh a very easy catch, easy catch from, Col from Ryan Engelman. Oh, another, another one. catch from Colby Chorak. Colby Chorak, Chorak is eating Put here, folks. take this point. Brett Liming, the only player remaining. Stays alive. All right, timeout called by Cincinnati. Hey. There's a little bit of a controversy saying one of the players from UNL stepped over the line. Smart call by Brett Limey. Now he has all the balls. Wow, he sure does. Traffic, man. The roads are terrible. How about that four? Wes Peters being obnoxious as always. 
What's new? What nothing? All right, Brett Liming now has score all ten balls. Uh, all right, Ohio State uh, four to one to Cincinnati or uh, Miami. Two minutes remaining. All right, Brett Liming looking for the backline kills against UNL players. No balls for you. No count for UNL. Oh, wow. number three drops the catch. Colby Chorak coming up. Mono E mono. Colby Chorak, Brett Liming. What a block. Now UNL right now is not utilizing the fact that they can they can simply just wow. Wait. What another hit. Another drop catch for UNL. They're letting this one slip away by not like making Brett come up. All right, Colby Chorak wanted that catch. Just a little bit out of his reach here. Oh, oh what a catch! Brett Liming. Brett Liming takes out Colby Chorak. Brings in Kevin Skiba. Skiba. Folks, Very exciting Brett point. is good at dodgeball. And there it is. Takes Five to two, Brett Liming. Secures the point for Cincinnati.